Good morning guys. Good morning beautiful people. It's March the 2nd and it's my 6th day. Pang-anim na araw ko na to guys and I have to apologize in advance. Um na delete ko lahat ng mga video from yesterday and from 2 days ago. So wala akong video na ipapakita kung paano ako nag-quarantine at kung paano ako nagpa-swab test na pumunta sa hospital. So but I'll give you a brief um story kung ano yung anong mga protocols tungkol sa pagpapaswap test ngayon. So, it's a little bit different compared to um, way back July and way back December. Kasi pangatlong, tra uh, pangatlong beses ko na itong pagpaswap test. And um, way back July and December, pipila ka although you have an appointment and then wait until makarating ka doon sa loob ng hospital then doon ka nila sa, sa swab test i-check yung temperature mo i-check yung um, history mo kung paano ka na-expose so now kahapon it's a little bit different because pumasok ako sa hospital and um, ni-register yung arrival ko and they give me this a name tag which is from December, July and December last year hindi nila ako binigyan ng ganito so now maybe it's a different protocol now kasi nga um, um, nagiging okay na yung mga numbers namin dito sa Canada, hindi na masyadong mataas although meron pa rin mga cases at uh, we're doing our part to as well as a citizen so binigyan nila ako ng tag, nagtanong sila kung paano ako na-expose chinak yung temperature ko and then sunap tas ako, so it's Ganito kalaki yung swab, then ipapasok nila sa ilong mo all the way up, and then i-circle nila 5 seconds. So, isuswab nila ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then tatanggalin nila ganun. And it will take about 2 days para mag, depende sa processing nila, sometimes one day, 20, within 24 hours, and sometimes 2 days. So, my recent na experience is after 2 days, nakukuha ko yung result niya. So, so far naman, um, when it comes to yesterday, last night, medyo um, okay lang yung ano ko. Pero meron akong body pain, which is it starts from the back all the way sa harap, and then from the legs all the way down. Yun yung, ano, yung, yun yung pain na, na naramdaman ko, which is very unusual. And abdominal pain too as well, although it's not that bad, yung abdominal pain, but still, um, it freaks you out because sometimes... Um, ang isip talaga is napakalaking factor para uh, mag-freak out ka kung ano-anong iniisip mo. Pero, um, one thing lang is mag-think um, mag positive ka lang na uh, wala yan. Kasi pag inisip mo na, oh, na-expose ako sa COVID, paano kung maging positive ako, something like that. But, um, you have to be positive in a right way. You have to be positive na... Um, walang virus sa katawan mo kasi pag in-entertain mo yung thoughts na yun it will, it will not go the nice way and um, so far naman as far as kaninang umaga kanina I had my breakfast I have to boost my immune system cross stitch hindi ko pa wala pa akong nagagawa I have to take a rest because if you feel something inside you you have to take a rest because it, it's very important as a citizen to as well kailangan mong protektahan ng family mo kailangan mong protektahan your your loved ones because this is not a joke this is not a joke guys other people they just take it lightly they don't take it seriously but for me i do take it seriously so that's why i quarantine myself all natutulog ako dito sa kwarto all by myself dinadala na ako ng pagkain hindi ako lumalabas lahat binibigay sa akin so Guys, if you don't feel well, stay at home, protect your loved ones because that's the best gift that you could ever give to them. And um, take this seriously. Parang ngayong naranasan ko na itong nag-quarantine because way back July, December, hindi ako nag-quarantine kasi negative naman ako. Although sinabi sa akin sa hospital na pag nag-negative ako this test, I, I will still continue my quarantine. So that I will have to do because yun ang ano, advice ng mga doctors yun Dr. Lee, the name of the doctor is Dr. Lee, yun ang advice niya so I have to continue this 2 weeks um, quarantine and then let's take it from there next week, babalik na ako sa trabaho and I will keep you updated guys 
kung ano yung mga nararamdaman ko, kung mayroon pa ba akong symptoms, although kahit na nag-negative ako. So, I'll keep you updated and hopefully, I'm um, positive naman na wala ito. So, I'm still positive, guys. So, pray for me, stay safe, and stay healthy, and protect your family. Have a good morning, guys. Bye for now.